Hello everyone, how are you today? Welcome back to my channel and this is Dr. Paramjeet. If you don't know me, I'm a consultant physician cardiologist in Yashoda Super Speciality Hospital, Nehru Nagar, Ghaziabad. And this is my channel, Doctor Education. And through this channel, I provide you with simplified medical explanations about the most common health and healthcare topics. There are so many videos already present on my channel. Do check them out and if you like them, then don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon because that's how you will receive notification about the next upcoming video and I post videos almost daily. So stay tuned. Today's topic is one of the most commonly researched and one of the most commonly asked topic on the internet whether or not apple cider vinegar or vinegar is useful for health benefits in diabetes, in prevention of cancers, for obesity, for weight loss, for heart diseases and what not. So apple cider vinegar has been propagated for all these purposes for a long time now and uh, I'll tell you the basics about all these things. I will discuss about whether or not these things these benefits are backed up by medical researchers or not, what are actually proven, what are not proven, how they are actually effective, what are the side effects, how much is safe and whether or not you should try it. So today's topic is this. So today we'll discuss about all these things. So stay tuned guys and before going any further, make sure you have subscribed and hit the bell icon just like I said. So let's start. If you want to know about health and have health concerns, then subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon. You'll be notified about all upcoming videos. So guys, what do you know about vinegar? What do you know about apple cider vinegar? First of all, vinegar is 5 to 20% acetic acid. Any vinegar is basically acetic acid diluted. Any vinegar is 5 to 20% acetic acid plus water plus minus some flavors which give them their different flavors. So any vinegar is acetic acid and what is acetic acid? Acetic acid is produced by fermentation of any kind of sugar alcohol, fruits or grains when they get fermented by an bacillus by a bacteria called acetic acid bacteria. That bacteria ferments, eats these products and then creates and excretes, yes it excretes acetic acid. So any kind of vinegar, any kind of acetic acid is the basic excretion product of this bacteria. That's why any food product which is kept in the open after a while becomes fermented by these acetic acid bacteria and becomes acidic, becomes little bitter. Why? Because these bacteria are ubiquitous, they are present everywhere. They are even present inside your body. These Acetic acid bacteria are present in some in the gut as well as they are present in the vagina. That's why the vaginal fluid is acidic because of this acetic acid component. And this acetic acid in the vagina gives an antibacterial property, and that's why it protects the vagina from infection. So acetic acid is the basic ingredient of all vinegars all vinegars may it be apple cider or any kind of vinegar let's think about what are what is the property of this acetic acid this acetic acid is a very potent acid very 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 strong acid and it is therefore used as an industrial solvent and a chemical reagent which helps in making a lot of products including paints adhesives inks so acetic acid is used as an industrial solvent but today we are not going to talk about these uses we are going to talk about the use which is there inside your body medicinal uses now you need to understand that whenever you eat anything 
basic thing carbohydrates are dissolved inside the body and the acetyl group of this acetic acid has a function has a function in this carbohydrate metabolism it combines with a specific thing called coenzyme a and it increases the metabolism of these carbohydrates as well as fat so this acetic acid very 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 tiny amount of this is utilized inside the body and is already created for this purpose inside the body so that is one point let's discuss about what are its medicinal uses now when i'm talking about acetic acid i'm talking about vinegar i'm talking about i'm talking about apple cider vinegar as well because all these things are basically acetic acid right so apple cider vinegar be it be vinegar be it anything are basically used in some or the other medical purposes now if we talk about acetic acid since 1800s acetic acid was used to inject inside a tumor a cancer as a treatment of cancer now that was there so you can imagine if acetic acid directly injected inside a tumor can kill the tumor how acidic how dangerous it is yes it is corrosive it is very corrosive that's why 1% of acetic acid is used as a antibacterial agent yes 1% even 1% of acetic acid is antibacterial used as a topical antibacterial over the skin then second use which was there in the past in the history was to screen for cervical cancer yes if acetic acid diluted obviously is applied over the cervix over the cervix inside the vagina then the area of the cervix which becomes white is sometimes predicted taken to be as a cancerous area so it is positive but that test is not done now because better tests are available so acetic acid was used for these purposes but if we talk about a documented and medically indicated use yes acetic acid is used in the treatment of ear infection outer ear as otitis externa infection it is a documented and recommended treatment in by the who guidelines as well but what about vinegar if we think about the researches done on vinegar there is no research which suggests that vinegar or any amount of acetic acid or apple cider vinegar is beneficial for blood pressure it is not it is not beneficial for blood pressure but yes some of the initial studies show that it is beneficial for post prandial glycemia post prandial glycemia that means if you take apple cider vinegar or vinegar with food your post meal blood sugar will get decreased so overall hba1c gets better so that says that okay diabetic control gets better but that is not something which has been recommended or proven as such it is seen in some amount because yes we have seen that acetic acid has a role in carbohydrate and fat metabolism so obviously something is going on and that's why when you take acetic acid or apple cider vinegar your glucose management your carbohydrate metabolism becomes faster but mind well when the researches were done with simple sugars if you take apple cider vinegar or any vinegar or acetic acid with simple sugars this effect is not there only with complex carbohydrate starch this effect is there so this says that okay maybe there is pre digestion of these starch going on happening when they inside the stomach inside the intestine because of the presence of acetic acid so this suggests maybe because of the presence of acetic acid or vinegar as a apple cider vinegar with the food with starch maybe there is a little amount of pre digestion going on of these complex carbohydrates but if you take sugar with acetic acid there is no actual effects on the sugar blood sugar levels so that's why obviously it is not a recommended treatment for diabetes patients although in some patients there has been reported that insulin resistance also decreases so there is an advantage with taking apple cider vinegar with meal but this effect also decreasing insulin resistance also is seen only with complex carbohydrates so if you are taking simple carbohydrates acetic acid apple cider vinegar will not be beneficial for your blood sugar levels or diabetes and therefore 
same goes for your fat metabolism lipid metabolism cholesterol so although there is no much evidence that it helps a lot in fat metabolism but yes there has been some study that it might be beneficial other thing which is there other things which are said are that apple cider vinegar tends to increase your satiety your satisfy your hunger so yes that has been seen but the basic mechanism behind this is still not clear it is definitely seen that people who take apple cider vinegar with food they are satisfied more with their food so they become less hungry and therefore a little benefit is there for weight reduction but it's not so significant now acetic acid or vinegar has a lot of polyphenols these are antioxidants polyphenols like flavonoids phenolic acids aldehydes all these are potential antioxidant agents protect you from oxidative stress so therefore might be little beneficial in protection from cancers and cardiovascular diseases but yes these polyphenols these are present in all types of fruits are present in tea coffee a lot of things these antioxidants are not just present in vinegar it are, these are present in all vegetables all fruits so you can get them from anything you eat almost just not vinegar so let's talk about safety now we talk about obviously acetic acid it is a very corrosive agent it is corrosive to your skin so it is known to cause burns blisters and vinegar now we talk about vinegar vinegar is known or apple cider vinegar is known to cause esophageal injuries although it is rare but it does cause soft tissue injuries to your mouth your throat sometimes your stomach sometimes your kidneys and chronic use of vinegar if you use it very regularly and in a lot of amount then it might lead to hypokalemia decrease potassium in your blood increase renin and sometimes osteoporosis so final words is is recommended to take vinegar or apple cider vinegar or any kind of vinegar for health benefits for medical benefits from medical point of view no it is not recommended to take it because whatever benefits you get from them is the regular benefit if you take a normal healthy diet if you take a lot of fruits if you take a lot of uh, salads if you take a normal amount of even citric acid that means something from lemons or oranges the same effect will be there with these things as the effect is there in acetic acid or vinegar so vinegar is not recommended to take an as a medicinal purpose like it is being propagated just for money but yes you can eat vinegar and have vinegar for its taste in the form of a pickle in the form of salad dressings for chinese preparations so take vinegar have apple cider vinegar or any kind of vinegar for its taste don't take it for its medicinal purpose it's not proven it's not recommended it's not useful even if it is useful it is less than 1% useful so imagine if your blood sugar levels are getting managed like 80% on diet and out of that if you decrease your carbohydrates simple carbohydrates the effect is much 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 more as compared to just adding vinegar on to whatever diet you are eating so what will you like to do obviously you will like to tick the better option so the better option is to go for the recommended stuff for the management of sugar blood pressure heart disease cancers and not just this but yes you can take these for a regular diet purposes and it's good for taste good for your health in a limited and very very small amount not necessarily taking it like glass full or something like that is not recommended so that's all for today guys and uh, hope you like the video if you did then do subscribe my channel and don't forget to hit the bell icon and do check out other videos on my channel if you like them share them so till next time stay connected stay healthy